Now, ladies and gentlemen, patches inside of Counter-Strike Global Offensive, either you're applying them or investing into them, they've been extremely controversial from the day they came out up until now. That goes for any sort of patch, if it's an operation, miscellaneous thing here and there, or most recently, and the most hyped, of course, getting very expensive as well alongside that, is 2021 from Stockholm, the patch packs, and of course the patches themselves. Now, I made a video about this around a month ago. It was pretty good. I wasn't going to touch on it anymore, but people seem to want an updated video on it. The quantities come down a lot since then, and the prices really haven't moved too much from that either. What we've continued to see that entire time period is this very niche market not go up very much, but things fluctuate so much throughout the day. And with anything going up in CS, people want to know how they can profit, or if they can, and know the BS. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Today's video sponsor is, of course, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a place where you can buy or instantly trade your CSGO skins for some new flashy ones. It has a modern, easy-to-use layout with multiple different filters, and if needed, it has a 24-7 live chat support support team. All you have to do is make sure you have your trade link, and on your first trade, if you have a leftover balance, it goes towards your current balance, which can be used when you end up trading skins. If there's a skin you really, really want and don't have enough for it, there's an option where you can top up your balance, and if you deposit with cash, you get a 35% deposit bonus, which is very nice. This holiday season, Skins Monkey is offering one of the best deals I've ever seen across any single trading website. They've prepared free gifts for everyone. Christmas has come early. Now, as soon as you go on, you can get one of three things. You can get a completely free CSGO skin of really any single value, a 45% deposit bonus, which is 10% more than normal, being a 35 usually, or of course a free balance on the site, which can be used to any item you want to trade for. The first gift is free, and others are unlocked through the trading website. So for the people who don't know, I'll get this out of the way first, knock out some very obvious pointers. Patches, if you cannot tell by the quantity, on the market of the patch packs, and the patches themselves being gold from 2021, and the fact that they're not being added to any future majors, or it seems to be there's no capsule coming out throughout the year, or new packs for an example, they're very niche. They're not really in too much demand, and the reason and they don't come out anymore is well they're very niche and they did not sell very well whatsoever and i don't think that's going to change anytime soon my main reason behind it is you can't really see it in game people tried to argue and will continue to argue oh you can see it in the lobby screen yeah you can but that's just for you you can't flex on anyone else and for the most part a lot of these gold patches make your agent look 10 times worse a good patch is like a howl patch or the fake crown foil right so much better i think it's called the boss on your agent than some of these you have to be a really big fan of stockholm let alone some of these esports teams as it goes for buying and selling these before we take a look into these in depth. As you can see on the market, there's not a whole lot of them, right? They're under 100, if not under 50 or even 30, sometimes even 20 or 10 for some of these, for example. With that, it's very niche. It's such a low quantity on the C market. It is extremely easy and not difficult whatsoever to manipulate the price at all. These are not very expensive, some of these. I could buy up all of these, for example, the G2 Esports patches. Now, just because I bought all them doesn't mean I can sell them for whatever price I want. There's more out there, so people are gonna list them on the Steam market for a lot cheaper, but because there's so little of them, I could buy all of it, people just unbox more. And the prices for some of these also are spread out quite a bit. You have a few for $12.80 on the G2, 13, and the rest are just a way above that. Because it's so niche, you can't really sell any more of these than I would say two or three a day maximum. And that's spreading out your teams, not having, you know, all your stickers in one investment. We just the other day saw the Virtus Pro Gold Patch go towards $30, $40 in the Steam market. It got taken down the listing because it was too expensive. No one was paying for it. And that's what I've continued to say before. Then it ended up selling for one of them at $19.25. Pretty funny stuff. The same thing happened with mouse. The mouse patch went to $64 on the Steam market, believe it or not, which was absolutely crazy. People were getting a little upset that I had a very harsh take on them, but of course they did not sell at $64. They sold at $36, or $33, sorry. That was before this. And when you see these sell, like I said, there's not many that sell at once. So it's hard to buy these in bulk, for an example, and then sell them on the Steam market, especially if you need that liquidated money, because these aren't a liquid item whatsoever. Now, as it goes for an investment into patches, then we'll go to patch packs. I don't think they're the worst thing in the world. If you want to pick up a pre-applied agent that has patches on it from Stockholm or whatever, it doesn't even have to be Stockholm, buff or whatever third-party site, could be a decent investment, but I wouldn't bank too much on it. This will be an argument, I think, until the end of time, really, with patches, because you can't see them in game. But I think there's some things that could change that in the future. I talked about this in Amanda Monday a little while ago, where the introduction of a new patch placement for the next operation for new agents or older ones could very well be happening. For an example, CSGO, let's just say, could make a patch position on certain gloves. Imagine you could put some of these patches patches on your gloves in game. That would look pretty cool, but I don't think Stockholm would go up very much with that because I couldn't imagine putting these on a pair of gloves because it would look absolutely horrible. It'd be the other patches I think that would go up more. Maybe it's on your wrist where it's 
more visible, then I could see these things going up and there'd actually be a reason because it would change the way your game looks the same way skins do. It's the same reason agent skins went up as well. Agent skins, yes, you don't see them in game, but you do to some extent. They change your sleeves, but in my personal opinion, they change how you feel in game sometimes. In your buy menus, that's what you notice quite a bit. Patches, they have a very small part on most of them, but they change your voice lines. They change up how the game feels and how you play sometimes when you need something, it'll have a different line, which is nice. It feels refreshing. This doesn't really do that. So for buying, buy a couple. Definitely, I would spread out your investments into these. I would not go all in for mouse, for example, all in phase, spread them out. Go one mouse, go one phase, go one G2 or spirit, just, just using that as an example. As it goes for selling, if you need the money, yes. Otherwise, wait for some sort of hype. And besides that, the same thing and the same reason Stockholm is going to go up is because it's rare. And that's what exactly this is. As it goes for patch packs, these, in my opinion, have the most potential just because of the prices we've seen the past couple of months. You can also buy a lot more than these than you can patches, which I like quite a bit. These are a little bit more liquid and retain some more value than other things in the market, at least patch wise anyway. These are selling for about eight bucks at the moment. And as you can see, only 200, they are pretty low for something you can unlock in game. And just like patches, you have these for, you know, $8, but the prices are really, really spread out because they're from a lot of different people. And the prices are going to be extremely high after the $8.32 mark. Just like everything else recently, these have had a huge hype. And this is why I wouldn't really jump on board right away. You don't want to be the person who buys up here because it's going to drop back down, which exactly it's done recently. It's gone from $10 to eight. These things have their peaks. So if you need to sell, sell at a peak like this, don't sell down here. If you want to buy in, the same thing goes. As it goes for the best one to buy, I actually surprisingly don't think it's any particular one. I think you should spread them out. The good thing about these is with the cheaper ones, you have more potential to reach this kind of price with something lower like this or even the contenders. So my overall thoughts, just because I don't like them doesn't mean I don't think they're going to be a good investment. Just you can't buy many of these things. They're not like cases or other sort of stickers on the market. They're for a niche group. And until Valve somehow updates something in the future where you can see these in game or really changes that up with your wrists, or having them on gloves, I kind of see the exact same amount of prices and listings on the market staying the same. Over the course of the next four to five years, just like with a lot of other rare things inside of CS like this, I think they'll probably reach maybe that 50 to $100 point, but we'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are doing. I know this is going to be somewhat of a controversial take. That's just mine. I think it makes sense. And that's something I've stuck with. Make sure to not put all your eggs into one basket, especially when it comes to pack. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.